Hello, good evening. I almost wanted to start in German, but that's later on. That's uh, in, at 10 o'clock Dutch time. So very, very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me in the webinar. And uh, let's make a wonderful network around the whole world when we do the MIR method. Let's, let's radiate some peace around the whole world, shall we not? Yay! We're going to do, uh, we're going to talk about salt, because salt is a very, 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 very precious thing in the whole world. Actually, it used to be um, a means of payment. So instead of gold, people used to pay each other with salt. And that has a reason, because it's very, very, very valuable. I will show you in a minute what happens uh, if we don't get salt in our body. Uh, let me open the presentation. Let's see. If you're new here, we're going to do the mirror method in a couple of minutes, the whole nine steps. And when we do that as a group, it works much better. So very welcome. And welcome to you if you have been here before. Thank you for returning and helping me again to spread all the good information and the good uh, energy. And if you are a mere method coach, then thank you very much for helping people and testing their SEEs, their significant emotional events, their traumas, so you can treat them and they can get rid of them. And that really speeds up their healing. So uh, thank you for doing that. If you want to become a mere method coach, please inform yourself on the English website. There is a course called Deep Understanding of the Mere Method and another one called um, Additional Techniques of the Mere Method. You can um, look at the videos and learn the techniques to yourself and share them with your clients or family members because there's lots of very good stuff in there. For example, a first aid treatment, very, very useful. And a treatment for um, getting rid of the side effects of medication. Very important to learn that. And also a treatment for bacteria and viruses. So please learn it and share it with others. Thank you. Thank you for doing so. Um, I'm going to talk about salt. When we do the mirror method as a group, it works better. This is uh, scientifically proven by Lynn McTaggart, who is a scientific journalist, science, science journalist. She has done all these experiments and has scientifically proven that it works. The mirror method will work stronger and it also will have a larger radiating effect to the surrounding, to the people around us and to our village or city. Isn't that great? I hope you are in a big city now. <laughs> a good immune system is relaxation, detoxing your body, healthy food and water and being cheerful. So have fun. I think I showed you the flowers before. I can't, I'm not sure, but here they are again. Aren't they lovely? Lovely color. And I bought some wonderful flowers today. White ones with various, very lovely petals, very lo lo lovely leaves and the flowers, but they are over there. I can't reach them now, so <laughs> I'll show them next time, I think. So that makes me cheerful. Just look for the small wonders in life. Count your blessings. I'm gonna talk about salt, because that's very important. Now, my personal experience is when I was pregnant, my midwife said salt is not related to high blood pressure. That's new scientific evidence, and I was like, uh, okay, so a salt-free diet was not necessary and I was so happy with that news. So then I already learned, which is like 20 years ago, I already learned something that um, that salt is a bad thing was not something I learned. Another thing I learned, another thing about salt was that I did a basic, basic, medic, basic medical education. That's like two years of medical uh, training. Um, which is prior to the education to become a physician, I think it's called, a house doctor. And um, this uh, doctor says table salt is unhealthy. And I was like, oh, he said sea salt is much better for the body and table salt is really unhealthy. And I was like shocked. 
Oh my goodness, and I know table salt is like in every product in the supermarket. It's in everything. So what you can do is uh, buy from the grocery store all these uh, foods that are separate. Not that they are in a package, but like uh, the, the vegetables, buy them like cucumbers, like a whole cucumber or a whole uh, apples. But don't buy them in packages or uh, when they are used in a meal. In a package because they always add so much salt to it because it's a very good preservative but then it's all table salt and we need sea salt i'm gonna talk about that later salt used to be a means of payment i already said that and the people who live in the desert they know because if they don't have salt it will it can become their death so salt is really essential for their life do you know those stones uh, that animals can lick, which is actually salt? Here is you see a horse and that's licking a block of Himalayan salt. So do you know about that? That animals that always have um, access to salt, also the wild animals. Now how come animals are allowed to do that and humans are not? Probably because humans don't know anymore when they need salt. But it's so strange that people are put on a salt-free diet. Actually, when it's something really healthy for your body. I'm going to show you why it's so healthy. Uh, last time I talked about Dr. Batman Galich from Iran. And he has written several books, amongst others this one. Your body's many cries for water. And in this book, there's a separate chapter about salt, how salt is essential to get water into your cells, it's inside the cells. If it doesn't get, if it does, if the water doesn't get inside the cells, you will get uh, sick. He said, you're not sick, you're thirsty. Don't treat thirst with medication. I showed you that last time. He also says a salt-free diet is utterly stupid. Now, when a doctor uses these kind of words, he really means something. So he's really telling us something. That, so that's what, what uh, drew my attention. He also says, when you drink a lot of water, please add a quarter of a teaspoon. So that's the little spoon. A quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt per liter of water. There's another doctor from Hungary. And he, uh, you can see his website, www.drlenkai.com. He has wonderful information about salt. The video I found on YouTube is uh, subtitled in Dutch. And unfortunately, um, all the other videos that I have seen in the past from him were not on YouTube anymore. So I was wondering why. The one about salt was still there. And uh, that's a video when he is lecturing the public about how the kidneys function and why salt is good for you and what happens when your body does not have enough salt. I'm going to tell you now because I made a summary of that. Um, he has been challenged by the pharmaceutical industry very much. And that also gives me a hint that he is onto something that the money makers don't like in the medicine industry. So that also raises my awareness, like, hmm, what does he know? <laughs> Dr. Lenkai, he's also very funny when he gives a lecture. So looking at the video was um, quite entertaining. He explained that our body has 250 grams of salt in it when it's uh, on average, which is good. The kidneys, however, they throw out all the salt in one go. <laughs> They throw the salt out. So, so when they lose water, there's lots of salt in it. Then the body reuptakes this water, uh, the salt. So it takes back the salt. So the kidneys, they throw it out and then it's reuptaken. But the body does not reuptake all the salt, which means that every time you go to the toilet, you lose salt and you need to add it. Oh, I put in a picture of a colander. I, I didn't know that it is called a colander. I hope you know that word. So when you, when you pour spaghetti into a pan or into a colander, you can wash away all the water in one go. 
That's how the kidneys function with salt. If um, the, the kidneys, they do this every four hours. Now let's say that if you, if you did not reuptake the salt, if you did not reuptake the salt, so if the salt is only leaving your body, you would be in a coma in one hour. You would be dead in two hours. This is what Dr. Lenkai explained in the lecture. And I was like, what? So when we lose too much salt, it immediately leads to something terrible. So then you know how important salt is. Fortunately, our body does re reuptake the salt, except it doesn't reuptake everything. So the challenge of our body is not to throw out salt because it, um, uh, it is losing salt all the time. And actually it, it's, it's a struggle to keep the salt in. That's how the, the body is functioning. Now, how can you know if, you're, if you don't have enough salt? That is that if you drink water, like two glasses of water, you immediately need to urinate. Like in 10 minutes time, you need to go to the toilet. That's a very strong signal that you have a salt shortage. So when you don't have enough salt and you drink water, very soon you need to go to the toilet. That's a very strong signal, signal you don't have enough salt in your body. All right. Now, what happens, according to Dr. Lenkai, when you have a salt shortage? You will have weak muscles, fatigue, overall weakness. You will have headaches. If you have a headache, you can put a te teaspoon of salt, a whole teaspoon, in half a liter of water and drink that. And then your headache will probably disappear. So please try that if you have headaches. Constipation. Because your body is getting drier and drier and the large intestine even takes out more water from the defecation from your stool. And that even makes it more dry. So the body doesn't want to lose any more fluids. So the large intestine takes out the large, the last fluid from the, uh, from the defecation that you have. Some miracles of salt. Dr. Batman Galich, the, the man from Iran, here is his book. He has written a whole chapter about salt. I'm going to share some of it because it's such a long list, like three, four pages. Salt strongly stress, uh, strongly reduces stress. So when you drink, when you use sea salt, when you use it, in normal quantities, like he describes, your stress, stress will be reduced. Isn't that great? Just think about it. The salt is necessary for healthy brain cells. Salt is necessary to balance acidity in your body. Salt is necessary with emotional issues like depression or stronger emotional issues. It's necessary for serotonin and melatonin in balance. Think about feelings of happiness or think about uh, being able to fall asleep soon, quickly. Has to do with salt. Like if you have a salt shortage, you won't be able to sleep so well. Necessary to prevent dehydration. Immune system will flourish when you add more salt to your body. And it is necessary for muscle strength. And the last one I really enjoyed reading. Many people suffer from incontinence, like they have urine loss. And when you take more salt, it will help to solve the incontinence, very likely. And think about all the people who have been put on a salt-free diet. And many of them have problems with um, incontinence. So how wonderful would it be if they could have more sea salt in their diet and more water? Because all the people don't drink so much, they don't feel they are thirsty anymore.
We can do so much, can we not? Now I'm going to talk about the mirror method and salt, because I learned in the practice I used to work before, um, we learned that salt is equal to safety, to security. So when people have enough salt in their bodies, they feel secure. If they don't have so much salt, they will feel unsafe. Now, it's, it's, uh, in step seven, we have fulfilled basic needs. Now, security is one of those basic needs. We can fulfill it with step seven. And you can also look for an SEE. Here, I, still here in Dutch, I forgot to translate. Normally, it's a significant emotional event, which can be under security. So, every, almost everybody has experienced unsafe events in our childhood, or maybe recently, like the last two years, have been like stressful for many people, which can cause many SEEs. Now, if that is in your system, you won't feel so secure. Now, what I would like to do now with you is to fulfill this security. So we're going to stroke it, going to caress your hand and say fulfill security all the time. We're going to do it, do it for a long time. Repeat it over and over. And then until I say it's enough. And then that way we will fulfill this feeling of security inside ourselves. Very, very much. We will fulfill this security very strongly. And that will make you feel so much more relaxed. And think about the effect of you doing this and it radiates to your surroundings. People will start to feel more secure and feel relaxed. Like I said, I hope you are in a big city now. <laughs> okay, we're going to work as a team. We're going to caress our hand and say fulfill security. Here we go. Fulfill security. Fulfill security. Fulfill security. Fulfill security. Let me just show my face. Fulfill security. Fulfill security. Fulfill security. Fulfill security. Fulfill security. Very good. That's it. Wonderful. Wonderful. I really wonder what you're feeling. These are the things that the mirror method coaches do. They look for those things, they use muscle testing, they, they test out where in the nine steps are the, the big issues and they take it out and they work on it with you. That's how it works. I hope you felt the effect of doing this, because I felt, I did feel something like relaxations inside. Lovely. All right. Now we have, we have um, aimed at the security. So our subconscious knows, has added so much security inside, but we're going to embed it now in the nine steps. So within every step, we're going to embed this security. All right, if you'd like to do this with me now, please do. Okay, here we go. Step one, optimize acidity. Optimize acidity. Optimize acidity. Detox all toxicity. Detox all toxicity. Detox all toxicity. Detach father, detach father, detach father, detach mother, detach mother, detach mother, clear meridians, clear meridians, clear meridians, supplement all shortages. Supplement all shortages. Supplement all shortages. Balance hormone system. Balance hormone system. Balance hormone system. Fulfill basic needs. Fulfill basic needs. 
fulfill basic needs. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. Clarify mission. Clarify mission. Clarify mission. <clears throat> In my system, I feel relaxation. I wonder what you feel. I'll wait a bit more. Yeah. There are people that are yawning. There are people that are sighing like <laughs> some people burp. And that's also a way of the, the body to then something has been fulfilled, has been verrecked. I don't know the word in English. Um, when you have worked through something, that's when you, when you burp. Very good. All right, um, if you would like to be, uh, well, thank you for doing this with me. I hope it has a wonderful effect on the whole world, but especially on you. I hope your health will increase doing this. Uh, please uh, take in some extra salt if you have noticed one of those um, ailments or complaints and try to make your body better. Try to improve the balance of salt and water in your body. I hope you have a great night if you're going to sleep. I hope you have a wonderful day if you still if you still have a day ahead of you and that you have wonderful energy. And um, please pass this webinar on to your friends if you would like to share it with them. And maybe I will see you and your friends within two weeks. I'm going to be there again in two weeks time. I'm going to, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you about the additional techniques course. I already told about it. So if you're interested, Please have a look at the English website to these courses. And next webinar will be April 29th. We have a wonderful time ahead of us. I hope you really, really can feel it with me. Please leave a comment on the website. Meermethod.com slash together. I really would like to know uh, how you felt, what it does to you, does for you. And uh, I hope you really feel fine. All right. Have a great night if you're going to sleep. Have a great day if, you're still, have still a, if you still have a day ahead of you. And I hope to see you again within two weeks' time. Okay, until then. Bye, bye, bye. Stay safe. Stay secure. <laughs> Stay relaxed. Stay happy. Bye, bye.